Pakistan's legitimate Prime Minister Imran Khan, who has been in arbitrary detention for 468 days, sent a message for the youth of the country on Thursday, which was narrated by his sister Alima Khan, as well as posted on his official page on X. Mr. Khan has urged the youth of the country to come out in large numbers for the protest in Islamabad on November 24 to demand their rights, a bright future and genuine freedom. Imran Khan sent special instructions for the young leaders of Insaf Students Federation and Insaf Youth Wing to work on growing membership in colleges and universities in their respective regions and to mobilize students and our youth for a movement for the genuine freedom of Pakistanis. Imran Khan has asked the Supreme Court to set up a panel of three judges to investigate the grave violations of fundamental rights by the military regime, which include enforced disappearances, restricting political events, abuse of administrative powers to illegally detain political opponents. The Punjab government of Maryam Nawaz has imposed new taxes on farmers. This is mainly due to the deficit by Punjab to manage its expenses. The move is expected to have a severe impact on Punjab's agricultural sector, which is already struggling with economic challenges. Critics argue that this could further damage the viability of farming as a profession, making it harder for farmers to sustain their livelihoods. In South Punjab's largest government hospital, Nishtar Hospital, one patient died of AIDS while 30 others have tested positive for HIV due to the dialysis of kidney patients on three machines reserved for AIDS patients. This incident of serious negligence was first reported on October 26 by the head of the nephrology unit and senior management of the institute hushed it up, taking into custody the admission and treatment record of all the infected patients to avoid action. Palestinian American Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib has called on U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken to resign after his deadline for Israeli authorities to ramp up humanitarian aid to Gaza, passed unfulfilled and without any consequences for Israel. Under the U.S. Foreign Assistance Act, the President is required to halt security assistance to any country that restricts U.S. humanitarian aid.